Heather Lane Pottery has been very much a part of my life for the last 30 years. It began in 1990 uh, in a little humble studio on Heather Lane. Uh, over the years, we've been called Heather uh, by well-meaning customers. There is no Heather. There has never been a Heather. <laughs> uh, but we began on a charming street called Heather Lane. In 2003, I purchased the business, and at that point, it was in Cascade. And then shortly after that, I moved to our current village of Gita. It was a place that people loved to come to, to see us at work, but also have a large selection of retail offerings. So Wendy, how did you and I ever meet? Um, in 2019, I opened a new business here in the village of Ada and I ordered a custom tile with the logo of my gift boutique. Mm -hmm. And that's how I met Susan and her talented artists. In 2020, we both faced challenges from the pandemic. So we decided at that point that it would be wise for both of us to share a retail space. And, you know, I was looking to downsize. And so this seemed to be the perfect solution. And I was really taken with Wendy and her vision for being a part of Ada as well. You know, when I think about people I have met or seen from some distance over the past 30 years, a couple of things come to my mind. One is meeting President Bush. He had come to Grand Rapids to interact with business people and he made a stop at lunchtime in Ada. He went around the room, shook everybody's hand. The photo that was snapped of me uh, holding out my hand, shaking his hand, was on the White House uh, website that day. So that was just a real fun highlight memory. But then I also think about a customer who, her name was Nancy, she would come in on a very regular basis, how are you guys doing? And seasonally, she would bring socks for all of us. So we have Christmas socks and spring socks and summer socks. And you know, just those unique times with unique special customers. So I specifically remember one day, it was just you and myself here in the studio, and you said, you know what, Susan, if you ever think about you know, changing up your life a little bit, you know, I'd be interested in checking out Heather Lane Pottery. Also, too, having Heather Lane sharing a retail space with me for four years, becoming part of the Heather Lane family, mm -hmm. volunteering for some of those shows just made me feel so close to it and wanting to carry that legacy on if you chose to. So when I first um, was introduced to Heather Lane Pottery and would visit you at your previous location and I could see the artists making these things from hand, um, I'd never seen that before. Also, my mother and I took a mosaic class and that really, just really got me more interested in learning more about Heather Lane. When I first started working for Heather Lane, I just remember making lots and lots of flat tiles, lots of slab work. Well, that evolved into, you know, a little bit more refined pieces. And to see the whole table just filled with all kinds of special shapes was fun. My very favorite thing would be to open that kiln when things had been fired the second time. And it was like Christmas to see how they actually turned out. It just made me so excited to think that somebody was going to enjoy this in their home someday. One thing that helps uh, to keep our work really fresh and inviting is that we paint seasonally. So from um, the snowy days of January, we're making springtime flowers and bunnies and things like that onto cottage motifs for the summertime. And of course, there's a bit of fall before the rush of Christmas. And Christmas, you know, we're known for wonderful ornaments. It's always something new and different and fresh. And then my favorite piece would be, I would say, the mugs. This is an example of one of my favorite designs on a mug. I love the handle and the little button on top. But then the crowning glory is a little mug cover because I like hot coffee. So just to show you, I could do this. I could do this. 
And what a way to get a day started. You know? So when Susan and I decided to each choose our own, one of our favorite pieces, we both showed up today with the same hydrangea mug. Well, I came back from an extensive trip visiting my daughter, who was very far away, and um, I just saw a notice that uh, Grand Rapids was considering doing a Christmas market downtown. I thought, hmm, Christmas market, let's go check it out. So I went, got my car, went downtown, talked to some people, and before I knew it, we were signed up. And the biggest part of it was um, they asked us if we would do a photo shoot for them and we just thought it was a simple maybe on a brochure yeah. simple little photo shoot yeah. and we ended up on 12 billboards throughout Grand Rapids and being interviewed by numerous times on the news yes so when they would say Susan get your lipstick on here they come again <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was really a fun event and even though we weren't allowed to um, put the name of the business, everyone who would walk by, it's just so recognizable yeah. that they knew right away it was Heather Lane. So one of the highlights from the Chris Kindle market was personalizing and selling thousands of these special ornaments. And as Susan says, once you put a name and a date, they come to life. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd often say when I greet people in a uh, booth at an art show is we create meaningful gifts. And these gifts go far and wide. I think one of the happiest moments uh, in these 30 years is when we realized we had shipped pieces to all 50 states. And to think about, you know, the events that they are helping celebrate, you know, the weddings and the anniversaries and the birthdays and the Christmas morning gift openings. Um, that just brings joy. And it's something that goes beyond pottery. It goes, um, it, it just encourages and um, just becomes a very special part. And I'm just excited to bring some fresh new shapes and designs along with keeping those signature pieces that everyone loves.